face to face again. Like, like literally face to face again. It's really dark in the studio. I get it. I'm working on it. We'll figure out a way. But for now, we're here with another video. And today we're talking about this guy. This is the Mission Workshop Rake. This is one of my P-list bags, which I will explain after this. What I was gonna say is I'm gonna explain my P-list. What my P-list is, is a group of bags that I really, really, really want. They're like my grail bags. You know, if there's just like something in your life that you really, really want and you, you gotta figure out how to get it and this, is one of those bags. I call it my P-list because of a video game and I name all the bags after video game characters because I'm a nerd. Well, meet Yukiko. Some of you might know what that means. Basically how it goes is um, these bags are all bags that I am lusting after and trying to get. The rake, the rake here from Mission Workshop is a great bag and it is a, but it's not a bag for everyone. It's, it's a unique bag that takes a little bit of work to get used to. It takes a little bit of, it takes, it takes something. This is a 22 liter bag and as seen here, it is in this 500D multicam black. I love multicam black. It is like my jam. On that P-list, like more than half the bags are multicam black, the multicam black version of it. I've had three rakes. This is the third one. This is the one from the P-list, and I will explain a couple of reasons why this specific one is that one. This is not, you know, one you can just buy on the website right now. It's an older version of it, but there are not a whole lot of differences. Actually, only one difference, which I'll explain. This bag with the multicam black also comes with these Cobra buckles on the front here. The regular version of this bag, which comes in HT500, which is a kind of um, very cool material that Mission Workshop um, developed, I believe, themselves, or at least in partnership with somebody. And uh, that, those bags, they, they get a nice patina, they get a cool look, and they're, they're a bit crunchier. This is soft, and it's very typical of any 500D um, Cordura fabric that you've ever seen. It's a roll top bag, as you can see. Roll top bags are not everyone's jam. Often, if I have a roll top bag, I like to be able to get into it from a different angle or a different side. In this case, it is not. It just is not. You can only get into it from the top here. Aside from that, the way they get around that is that it has these two pockets out on the front here and a couple of pockets here and here that allow you to basically live out of this bag without having to access your stuff in the main compartment. I think this bag is great for daily carry, even though it is slightly large. I mean, it's 22 liters, but it feels big. It's, it's tall, it's tall. Like, let me, let me, let me, you know. Here I am, 5'7", fatter than I wanna be. Can see on my back here? Can you see that? Should I should I roll back here and give you one of those guys? You can see that's basically um, that's basically it. I want to get this out of the way like right away, just because I want to tuck this in and not have to show you anymore. There's a bottle pocket on the side here. Basically, it comes out of the edge here, and it's like a um, like one of these flimsy guys. It'll take a very big water bottle. It's just like mesh. Um, this is like my coffee cup. I don't carry water like ever, but my coffee cup fits in there very nicely. Um, and honestly, like even though I've heard people complain about this pocket, it's worked great for me and it stays solid. The zippers on this bag are all AquaGuard zippers, YKK, all of them. They're all USA made YKK zippers. They're all number fives and eights from what I can see, which is fine for a bag like this. You probably don't need anything else. It's already burly enough. The price of this bag comes in around four, like three fifty to four hundred dollars new, I believe. Um, you can find it on their website. It kind of fluctuates depending on which options you get. They can be had used for less than that if you're if you're in the market for a used bag. They have a great lifetime warranty. I don't know if it transfers to the second owner, but you know. It is what it is. Let's shift around and talk a little bit about the back panel now. In the past, I've complained a lot about one particular, basically I got off on the wrong foot with Mission Workshop. I started out complaining a lot about their sanctioned bag. I was really, really excited to get it and I really, really didn't like it when it finally arrived. Since that, I've become the world's biggest Mission Workshop fanboy and well, <laughs> 
I love their bags now. I absolutely love their bags. They're in my top three or four brands that I always look for, and this is probably my favorite of them totally, or one of my favorites of them. I use the Vandal. I use the Vandal when I was in the hospital with my baby to carry all the stuff home on my way home. One of the reasons I love Mission Workshop bags now is this. Their harness systems are among the best. They're very simple. There's some mesh on the back, there's mesh here, there's a little kind of line here, and then there's a luggage pass-through that goes this way. So your luggage, you know, if you got one of those things, it, it will go up like that, and it will go down through the bottom of the bag here. This is just that Cordura stuff, but there is a channel there, and there is like probably, you know, it's raised enough to give you a little bit of breathing room. Now on this particular version of the bag, Yukiko here, which I mentioned earlier, um, it has load lifters here. These load lifters pull the bag up on your back and make it seem higher. For me, being a very short guy, that makes me feel happier about how this bag rides. With the old rake, what I would have to do is I'd have to pull these straps super tight to get it to ride really tight on my back. This is not the case for everybody, and it really depends on how you like your bag to work. For me personally, I love load lifters on bags because they make it fit how I like it. I like to wear hoodies, it makes it ride like right next to the hoodie, and it just, that's it works for me. So when I was looking for this bag, I went with the older version, and I found this particular one. Thanks, Abe, you're a bro. And it has the load lifters. They are connected here to this roll top. Again, not something that's on the newer version of this bag. The newer version of this bag would look more like um, something like this. So they would just be attached, the straps would be just attached here. And honestly, for most people, it really doesn't make a difference. It doesn't. I've talked to so many people about it. Um, people have tried on, people with me tried on the old version of this bag and it didn't really make any difference to them. So I'm just a weirdo and I like the way that works. Otherwise, the straps are extremely comfortable. There is a sternum strap, which is right here. Right here, great hardware, really nice click. Um, the adjustable hardware is not as smooth as I would like. Actually, Mission Workshop is amazing at having these be very smooth on some of their other bags, but the rake in particular is a little bit kind of like lock and load. Like once you're in, you're, you're done. But I mean, it's fine, it's fine. Now, what makes this bag great for daily carry is are these two like tenderloin pockets here on the front, this guy and this guy. That's kind of like the party trick, right? You look at this bag, this is what you see. My wife, when I first got this bag in gray, she said I looked like I was trying to cosplay a character from Blade Runner or something like that. And honestly, what's wrong with that? I dream of electric sheep. These are, as I mentioned, Cobra buckles. Cobra buckles are only on this version of the bag. Um, you can actually add them to the other version. I think it's like an extra 50 or 100 bucks or whatever. I think these these buckles are pretty expensive. They're like 20 bucks each. So um, to buy them from Mission Workshop is probably a little bit more expensive, but you can upgrade them and it's super easy yourself. Um, do I recommend it? Nah, I think like if you don't have them, don't worry about it. They are cool if they just happen to be there. I think they look cooler than they function. It's like one of those things that they're a bit clanky. They kind of clank around. They do like some of this. They're a bit heavy and sort of like it's, it's like one of those things. I think they look great, but it's not something that I would buy a bag because of, if that makes sense. You have to unbuckle two of these in order to get into either of these pockets. Now, this is sort of like the main, the main show, the main show pocket of the bag. Now if you can actually, let's, uh, let's have a look here. You see what's going on there? Probably not, but there is a mesh pocket here a mesh pocket here and a mesh pocket up there. They are varying sizes. They're all zipped, so you can zip, zip, and they're actually pockets behind them. So for me, I carry a, a knife in this one, and uh, there's a little lanyard, like key lanyard thingy here. Can you see that? Yeah, so there's a little key lanyard thing here. I don't actually use that. Um, I'll show you where I put my keys in a minute, but you could, and you could shove your keys down here. Uh, these mesh pockets, the mesh feels nice. I don't, I don't think it's like 20 year mesh. It's probably like, it's like elasticy and and it's not Goruck mesh, we'll say, but it's 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 probably good enough for whatever you're gonna have in here. Uh, at the moment, I think I have you have like have my headphones in this little guy here, and um, over on this side I don't have anything, but you could. There's a little bit of padding in these pockets actually here, so you could put something like a, a camera, and it would it would be pretty safe. Like you could put like a Rico camera in here or something, and it would be safe. Um, this the issue with this pocket for me is. 
the zippers are, are okay. They're, they're pretty smooth, but the thing is you have to unbuckle one, two, and then you have to unzip the whole thing to get into here. That is definitely an ordeal. So I don't tend to use this pocket for very much, aside from like, when I get to the office, I might like put it, the bag on my desk like this, and then just kind of have it open and then work out of it, which is one way I've seen this bag used a lot. Or what you could probably do is um, you could just have stuff there you don't need all the time and then put um, your stuff you need all the time in other places. These things can be like cinched down, so this can be really tight. Now, one thing to mention is if the inside of this bag is full, then these pockets are difficult to get into because it expands out into these pockets. They're designed for flatter items and flatter items work perfectly fine. There is a pocket down here, which is a bit weird because the liner of the bag goes all the way down to the bottom. So it's like, there's just like a tiny bit of space here. This is the crush zone. This is right where everything gets crushed. Don't put anything in here of a value. There is uh, my key, which is the only thing I put in there. And basically I sling the bag around my shoulder and get at this key. It kind of rests like right in the front of the pocket here. Um, Aqua Guard zipper here and on all of these, as I mentioned. The other pocket over here on the other side is a little different. Now this one is like, it only opens to here, the other one clamshell is completely open, and there's a little gusset thing here, and it's just kind of open here. Good for like a notebook, you could put a camera in here, that's what I used it for, was for a camera. You could also put like, I mean I use this for baby bottles, so I put the two baby bottles here, um, and it actually, because of the padding and the, the, uh, the kind of, waterproof material here, it'll actually keep the, the the stuff inside slightly warm for a little bit of time. So, we're great for that. I mean, I don't know, you can put whatever in there and uh, it will probably work. There is one more pocket up here on the top. Now this is my favorite pocket on this bag and it's it's deep, it's like this deep and it has a flap and it has the, uh, the Aqua Guard zipper, it looks like I already have it open. I don't always shut it because basically the flap flops over it, I mean, unless it's like super raining and uh, it goes all the way to here, my finger's touching there, and right now all I have inside is this hand sanitizer and my mask. Um, the mask is not there, but that's normally what would be there. Uh, the liner on this pocket will kind of come out with your hand, so that's one thing to keep in mind. Like, it can be annoying, like when I put my iPad in there, like sometimes I'll put my iPad in there, and then when I pull it out, it pulls out the liner. It's kind of annoying, but I don't I don't find it as bad as I've heard in reviews. It's one it's one of those things that happens like one out of every 30 times you take something out. It's not like one out of every one time. The only other pocket on the outside of the bag is this one, and that is the laptop pocket. I will say straight away, this is my favorite laptop compartment, like one of my favorite laptop compartments in a bag. It is very big. It goes from the top of the bag to the bottom of the bag and my 15 inch laptop fits in there absolutely perfectly. A 17 inch would probably fit in there. It's slightly raised up off the bottom, it's padded on both sides, it is just a great laptop compartment. Like, and because it's a roll top bag, as you've seen, you really don't have to get into the main compartment of this bag at all. You could have your tech stuff in here, like a tech pouch, you could have, you know, like, one thing I will say is that with a bag like this, you probably want a thin, tech pouch like the Evergood CAP 1 liter, which is a thin tech pouch that you could either put in this pocket or you might be able to stuff in this one, I'm not sure. Or the GORUCK wire dot fits perfectly in this pocket, which I'll show you in a minute because I actually keep it in the main. So that's it for the outside of the bag. Now, on the inside of the bag, there is this roll top. This roll top, this roll top will open. It has this kind of, um, can you see? There's like a, um, there's like this, G-hook, the G-hook connects to a little thing here. And then that's kind of it. You can actually remove it and you can change it around. Um, it removes via some Velcro back here. You can change this to a Fidlock. I actually made a video about changing these things to Fidlocks. It's actually non-destructive in the case of this bag, so you could change it to a Fidlock and change it back if you want to. Um, if you don't like the way this looks, what you can do, there is some Velcro here. So you can actually roll it up, and this will give you like much better water protection, the Velcro. So you roll it up, and then you can stick this guy here, and you get a bit of a different look, and now you have the Velcro on the top. I don't ever tend to do that, honestly, um, because I don't like that sound, and I'm not the only one. <laughs> so uh, you'll hear people complain about that a lot about this bag, and it's great because they give you the option. You can do it if you need it. If it's super raining, I will do it up, but 
Otherwise, I, I don't I don't tend to. Um, the flap kind of goes up to here, although I think technically speaking, you could probably only get about this much space. So that 22 liters is is about all you're getting from this. Maybe max like 25, but it's a it's a tight bag. It, it feels tight. Now, the main compartment of this bag is quite literally just a gaping hole with that same liner. There is one zippered pocket on the back here. So it's right here, and it's a raised compartment that you can use for your laptop. I have used it for my laptop in the past. The thing is, this bag has such an amazing laptop compartment, I don't know why you would use that, but it's there if you need it. It's not padded on the side of the bag, but it is padded on the other side because that's the back of the laptop compartment. It's nice to have, it's nice to have, you can separate. Now inside the bag I carry, um, my iPad is in this Philip Robok custom pouch. Um, I have my hats. I have that wired up. Now I want to show you. So this is the GoRuck wired up, and then there's this front pocket here. And I just want to show you that it fits. It's like almost the exact size of that of that pocket. So if you have a rake, I highly recommend the GoRuck wired up because it's like basically the perfect tech pouch for this front pocket here. The very bottom, I have my toiletries, which live inside this uh, Mission Workshop Axis these days. Matching multi-cam black. Um, this is like literally like there are just like toiletries and stuff in here. My, I keep my passport in here. With these things in it, the bag already felt super packed. If I put a packing cube in here, it feels extremely, extremely tight. Like very tight. So this packing cube, can you see that? Now this fits in almost every bag I own, but in this bag, it it will not, it will not, like literally will not go in there. So if I'm gonna use this bag, what I'd have to do, now this is a great packing cube because what it does is, this is a Gora 10 liter packing cube, the full one. It goes like this, so clamshells, and then I could put it in like so. Something like this. Now you can see it's starting to get, you know, pretty packed out. And then if I put this here, and then my Robo pouch, and then my wire dot. Now I could technically put my wire dot up here, but just for argument's sake, I want to do it like this to show you. And then my hat. Now I'm here. So I'm already at this part with this bag. It's getting a bit gangly. It's getting a bit, you know, gangly. Now, I mentioned I love this bag for daily carry. For travel, I'm not so sure. Can it do it? It definitely can, but it's 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 not it's not like the ideal situation. If you're like, if you want to sell out to a bag, you just want to buy a bag. This is a great option to just buy and use, and it will work for like a weekend trip. But if you're a bag like the rest of us, then you have other bags that'll probably do that a little bit better. Like I said, not that it can't do it you probably just don't want to do it. Because then like if you need to get at something, like it's a nightmare in this case, right? All of your tech stuff could be out here. You could have that wired up up in the front here. But even so, like with all the other stuff in it, this pocket, like suddenly this wired up is gonna have a real hard time going in there because it's so tight. So it's just it's just something to keep, keep in mind, okay? Now I'm gonna take all this out because I wanna show you, yeah. So you saw how that looked. Now, like I said, one of the bags that I find for me reminds me of that bag is that Bellroy Apex. Now, the Bellroy Apex is like $400 too. It's a very expensive bag. This is the Bellroy Apex. This bag is like 26 liters, but it also fit. Sorry, it's gangly because it's got it's got wine in it. It's got more wine in it over here, okay. This bag with nothing in it also can feel pretty small. It can do like a decent daily carry thing. And it's kind of floppy. But if you want to travel with it, it travels much better in my opinion than that rake does because basically what you do is, this packing cube, this fat one, like, This bag just like swallows it up. So that packing cube is gone. It has this clamshell opening and you end up with all of this space here. And then, you know, you can put your laptop in the back here. I don't like this laptop compartment as much as the one on the rake, but it's good enough or, or more than good enough. I could put like my Rob Oak thing here. 
my uh, this thing, and then uh, my wired up on the top here, my hat here. So we're looking at something that looks like this. And then obviously there are like places for my daily carry stuff, you know, also. But for now, let's just see. Okay, so with that loaded up, this bag actually ends up with, um, there are five, one, two, three, four, five rungs, and it's on the second one. So it could actually take a little bit more. Now, this bag does not stand up on its own very well. It will, like in a pinch, like you can kind of do like a little bit of a, if you get it, load it out the right way. It will stand up on its own, but that's not an ideal thing. The straps are, are great on the Apex there. I don't know if they're as good as they are on the, um, on the rake there, but they, they are pretty good. And I think that if you're in the market for the rake, this might be a decent option to have a look at. But I'm gonna get that out of the way because this is not a video about the Apex. So here we are, back on the rake. As I mentioned, it's a great bag. Oh, I know one thing I forgot to talk about. The top handle of the rake has not changed in a while. It's like this tube webbing here. You can see that. Feels great, feels good. It's a, as good as Mission Workshop does, generally speaking. It's good enough. This bag is a great bag for daily carry. If you dig the look of this bag, you just get it. Unless you're thinking that you're gonna travel with it a lot, then it gets a bit tight, or if you're the type of person that carries a ton of stuff. I think if you can get by with having most of your things on the outside of this bag and like use the laptop compartment, um, which is killer, and then you know with that water bottle pocket and all that kind of stuff, you'll love this bag because it's a bag that feels like it'll be like your friend for a very long time and you'll just look at it in the corner and just want to use it. It kind of gives me the I want to use it vibes. It has a charm. It has a very tactile charm. Every time I touch it, feel it click the buttons, unzip the zippers, like it's got a bit of a, like a, oof. Like ASMR, je ne sais quoi, it's got this kind of thing about it and not every bag has that, so this bag um, is, is a great one. Like if I was going between these two, just for example, it would be hard pressed for me to say that I would recommend this one because this one just does everything um, so well. Like They're just in the same similar kind of price range and I find they sort of remind me of each other even though they're obviously very different. I hope this video helped you. Um, if you're in the market for the rake, as I mentioned, if you like the way it looks, just go for it because it's, it's a beautiful bag and uh, it's, it's one that, that has treated me very well and will continue to treat me well. So if you have any questions, feel free to let me know. That's it for now, kids. Talk soon. Bye-bye.